put it in the shock if it's really hot and panning and really hot. But if you need to help a rabbit cool down, okay, take, see these big old ears? This is a big old radiator right here, okay? And, and, and what it does is it radiates heat. The big old, if you pay attention, there's big old blood vessels going through their ears. And a lot of times, the rest, you pet this rabbit and it'll feel cool. But if you grab a hold of these ears, they're going to be hot to the touch. And that's because blood through those big old arteries is circulating through these ears and they're giving off heat right there. See these big old ears? They stick up in the wind and air blows across them, carries heat away from the rabbit. They can't do that on the rest of their body because this fur is here. So it doesn't even do them any good to sweat. They actually do just like a dog. They pant when they get really hot. That's why a lot of times in the summer they'll get wet around their mouth and around their nose. Don't panic. As long as it's not snot or something like that and it's just clear, it's just sweat. It's condensation. It's moisture coming out of their breath. They're, they're, that's cooling them down, okay? But if you need to help them cool down, don't soak the rabbit. Don't soak this fur with water. Okay, now I have taken wet hands and run over it, and even though there's a lot of fur between here and their skin, the, the wind blows across that and it still will kind of pull some heat away from their body, but where, where it's most important, these big old ears, take and get your hands nice and wet. Don't fill their ears with water, okay, you don't need a rabbit with swimmers there. But get these, get these ears wet, this, this little fur. Soak that real good. Get these ears nice and wet. Okay? And then just step away. And even if there's just the slightest little hint of breeze, you ever notice how much cooler air feels when your arm is, or your face is sweaty as opposed to when it's not and the same air hits you? Same thing when these ears are cold, cool or wet. They'll give off a lot more heat by the, evaporate, the evaporative cooling that comes from that little bit of water that you put on their ears. As it evaporates, it cools and it helps them helps their body give off more heat. So that's just a little bit, of, little tip. If you soak this fur down and that rabbit is hot, like Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Texas hot, you're gonna put them in shock and you're quite possibly gonna kill them.